Hi. Well, here's my new chuck. This is uh, a six inch and a little bit more in diameter. Uh, it's a it's a cast chuck, so it's not the highest strength. Uh, this is a six inch adapter plate, and I forget where I bought it, but uh, uh, I had to cut the uh, register down a little bit so the chuck would fit on here. Uh, I didn't bother measuring it, I just cut it down. Um, as you can see it's got reversible jaws which which is a feature I've been looking for. Uh, overall the chuck looks to be very well made. It uh, the, uh, the jaws are numbered. The slots are numbered. So if you take it apart, everything goes back in the same slot. Um, it it could have stand a little more deburring. Some of the edges are a little bit sharp. Uh, it's got an oil hole here. Uh, now I took it apart. Uh, I took the, the internal back plate out and and examined the scroll and greased the uh, bevel gears. Um, overall, I gotta say it's pretty good dollar value. 166 bucks. Hey, <laughs> I'd do it again. This thing is uh, this thing is pretty nice. It gives me much more uh, gripping area, and uh, I, I'm I'm pretty well pleased with the uh, uh, Sandu or Sandu uh, brand. So for 166 bucks, I, I I definitely do it again. So, anyways, when I first m mounted it up, uh, off center run out was uh, in a neighborhood of about nine thousandths. Now, this is small manufacturing errors in the uh, in the jaw faces, I think, and it's not too bad. So, to correct this, to get it to run. I got it down to about one thousandth run out, which is not too bad. Uh, to correct this, I cut the register back a little more um, on the on the adapter plate. I drilled the uh, the holes. Uh, I didn't have transfer screws, so I made some transfer screws of uh, eight millimeter bolts. Little pointy job. I cut a, a, a screwdriver slot in the end. And I use marking out fluid on, on the tips and set the adapter down. So that located my holes. I drilled them out and to get the, to get the run out adjustment, I drilled these holes slightly oversized so I could tap it around. There's my high spot mark. haven't rubbed that off yet. Um, like I say, it's really, I think, a pretty good deal. Oh, I can definitely recommend this to somebody else. Now, we'll see how it goes when I use it, but uh, this uh, chuck they, uh, key they sent with it had a spring on it. I, I really don't like those. I think the best bet is to uh, make it a habit to remove the key as soon as you're done with it. Don't walk away with the thing standing in there. Somebody might turn it on, turn the lathe on. And then you got a flying missile going around the, your machine shop. But the only other gripe I got is uh, I got a real sharp edge where my thumb is right there. And there's a set screw holding the cross lever in. So I'm going to mount this in one of my lathes and cut this uh, soften this edge overall yeah I definitely could recommend it the uh, see if I can lay my hands on a ruler here pretty good opening in the chuck I have to measure it and see I don't recall offhand it says it's 160 uh, K11-160A that's their model number uh, it's a 160 millimeter chuck and I got it because my original 
three jaw chuck that came with it was a four inch and the biggest I could clamp in my old chuck was just around, just under two inches then I had to reverse the jaws I like the uh, the idea of these uh, re reversible jaws first thing I'm gonna make is a set of uh, aluminum soft jaws and I think that would be a nice addition but there you go I hope you guys are staying healthy